Hello everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to use control fields or filters in Looker Studio reports. But before we go there, as usually, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. And let's go straight to the point. First of all, what is a control field or a filter? If you scroll all the way up, you're going to see this option that says add a control. And if you click to add a control, you're going to see the various options to add controls to a Looker Studio report. Now, there are four options that I will recommend you to use or to think about using in your report. The first one is a simple drop down list. So if we click here, a drop down list, and we drop it somewhere in our Looker Studio report, the first thing that we need to do is we need to go on the right hand side and we can change the control field to any dimension that we want. So for example, if I change the control field to country, I'm able here to click and then filter my data by country. For example, if I select United States, then my data will refresh and will show me only information on United States. If I select Canada only, then sessions returning users bounce rate will show me only uh, the information relevant to the country of Canada. Or I can select multiple options, let's say Canada, India, Japan, China, for example, and my data, whether it's a scorecard or a chart, will refresh accordingly. So this is option number one, a simple drop-down list that you can actually use to narrow down to a specific dimension. And country is just an example, obviously, you can change the control field to anything else that you like. For example, let's say city. You can change to town and city, and you can filter down by any city. Let's say, for example, Delhi, or uh, let's say Mumbai, or any city that is important for you. Or we can change to the session default channel grouping, which means channels. So we can have a drop down list here that is going to give us all the different channels, channel groups, direct traffic, organic search, paid search, and so forth. And then I can use this drop-down list to narrow down to a specific channel. So my entire page, basically, here in Looker Studio is going to narrow down to a specific dimension. The second option now, visually different, but does exactly the same thing, is we can click here to add a control, and we can add a fixed size list. So a fixed size list is the same thing, meaning we can go here on, let's say, the right-hand side, and we can change, for example, the control field to country and the metric, let's have it as sessions, which is the norm when it comes to using filters. And this is a fixed list, which is also acting as a filter, right? So here, for example, I can come and I can say, I want United States only, or I want United States, Canada, and India, for example or I want to see only India. And depending on what you're going to click, all your data in this page are going to refresh accordingly. So this is exactly the same thing in a visually different way. So it's a different way to visualize your filter. Some people like drop-down lists. Some people like a normal list here. It's up to you what you want to use. The third way to achieve the same thing is you can click on other control here and you can have an input box. So an input box allows the user to type the information that they need to see or filter down to. For example, if we narrow down, let's say to country here. So if the control field is country, I can come here and I can type in. So the user needs to type in, let's say the country. So Singapore or let's say India. Right, so and there is an input. Basically, the user types in whatever channel, country, city, age group, gender, and so forth they want to narrow down to, and that's how this filtering option works. And one more option that is a little bit better than the input actually is this, the advanced filter. So the advanced filter, if I am going to let's say customize here the control field to country allows you to give an input but this time we have the option to play with basically conditions like equals contain starts with regular expression so for example i can say i want to see all the countries that contains contain united and 
you can see from the other filter here. So this means United States, United Arab Emirates, United Kingdom. Or I want to see all the countries that, let's say, contain the letter S, right? And then I'm going to basically click here on my filter, and then the system will narrow down only to the countries that contain the letter S, or start maybe with the letter S, a little bit uh, easier to understand as an example, right? So that's the four different options to attach control fields to a Looker Studio report in order for us to be able to narrow down to specific dimensions. As a tip now, what are the kind of filters that I will recommend you to add to any Looker Studio report? So the first filter is obviously a filter that will allow you to narrow down by channel. That's very useful for whatever type of report you are creating. The second filter I will recommend you to add any type of visualization, it doesn't matter, but a control field that is going to narrow down to a specific location. And then I will also recommend you to add a third filter that narrows down to device category, which means basically desktop, mobile, tablet, smart TV. So with these three control fields or filters, as we can call them, let's say in a simple way, plus a date range control, then you will be able to find whatever information you want from your Looker Studio report. So for example, let's say I want to understand how much organic search traffic I'm getting from, let's say, India only on mobile devices. So by just clicking three times, I'm able to narrow down only to organic search traffic coming from India only from mobile devices on a specific, let's say, date range, right? So that's the beauty of control fields or filters in Looker Studio reports. And now you know what are the different options that you have to play with to create amazing reports inside Looker Studio. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and you are able to go ahead and experiment and create amazing things with Looker Studio. Don't forget to subscribe. As usual, it helps to create a lot of content. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.